let me so let me start probably how to start with PSSC. I have opened PSSC. So means also we'll if you want to start from scratch, you can probably use file new study or file new diagram, right? like whatever you want. So like means so here also there is an option. There is here also there is an option or probably control N that also works, right? The control N that also works. Like means whatever you are using in Microsoft Office, exactly that works. So case data is not a SAV file where the database is. Diagram is the single line diagram. Case data and diagram when I give that will come with both options, which is dot SAV file as well as dot SLD file. So I have given both. When probably like means if you look at like few simulation softwares, you will never be able to change the base MVA. Like if you take ETAP, base MVA is fixed at 100 MVA, which you cannot change it. But like if you look at PSSC, they have given an option to probably change the change the base MVA. Frequency units of the transformer rating is MVA or current expressed as MVA. Unit ratings of non-transformer branches, which could be cables and transmission lines, whether it is MVA or current expressed as MVA. If current is expressed as MVA, so like I'm just probably taking it an example, 100 MVA transformer, say example 220 bar 33 kV, that is HV voltage, this is LV voltage. So current is 1000 divided by root 3 into 220. So just like I need to multiply by 1000, 262 amps, that's HV current. And probably like LV current also, which I can put it 100 in 1000 divided by root 3 into voltage so this is this is apps now like means to so see i have probably a transformer so here like I'm, I'm just probably giving the transformer rating as only part of the mba so if it is 220 and 33 and probably like if i'm saying 100 like this current exactly probably matches with the manual calculation as well but instead of this bus voltage is 220 kv but like if i am maintaining this voltage say example 1.05 per unit on both the sides then like means to say normally I can load up to this current and voltage is five percentage more. So this transformer obviously capable of having like five percentage more on its rating because transformer has a withstand capability with respect to the voltage and then probably then there's a rise in voltage. Then it means to say you will be having higher MVA rating for the transformer when the voltage is. That's probably like whether you have to compare the loadings in percentage with the current expressed as MBA or direct number MBA, that's probably the software gives an option. Yes. Look at here. Like means to say my loss, no load loss is only 970 watts. That is less than one kilowatt. This is 750 kVA transformer. But load loss, if you look at, it is 7,300 watt, which is 7.3 kilowatt. So in any transformer, the no load loss and full load loss, the full load loss will be like much, much, much higher than no load loss. This load loss is proportional to square of the current. So, which means like 7300 is like the example which I have taken as a loss. So, means what say if I am increasing the voltage by 5 percentage, what I will have, what will happen? Like 7300 is the watt which is a loss in the transformer. If I am just increasing the transformer voltage by 5 percentage, what will happen? Like the current will come down by this value, right? So, the actual loss probably will be proportional to square of this current. So means we we'll say just by means of five percentage increase in voltage, the losses will come down from seven thousand three hundred to six thousand six hundred just by five percentage. Like means the reduction in the loss is about like six seventy eight kilowatt, whereas the hundred percent like no load loss is only nine seventy watt. So hope that that's pretty much making sense. And instead of this, like if I am going for like say plus. 10 percentage the reduction in the loss is like about 1266 which is higher than the no load loss altogether so if you're increasing this voltage reduces the loss drastically and probably like means to say the no load loss which happens because of the rise in voltage is comparatively negligible so increase in voltage always allow the transformer to probably handle more power and like increase in no load loss it's not really significant and 100% voltage, no load loss is like based on the voltage. Of course, this is at 100% voltage. One ten percentage, I'm not saying it will not change, it will vary. But that variation, like the loss itself less, even if it is changing by 10%, 20%, it is not really bigger. Uh, I mean, to say, it has a bigger impact. So if you look at, like you can, always representing 
current express stress mba is always better but like i mean to say we have adopted with the mindset that like means to say say mba is easy because if you are probably putting it uh, transformer like you have to talk about both the sides of the currents that's probably the disadvantage of transformer like means to say how to probably model a system let's take some examples like i am taking bus 1 i'm putting like 400 kv i'm putting bus 2 that's also 400 kv i'm connecting a generator like assume it is assume it is the infinite bus source or something then probably like taking a branch connected between it so to an extent like we have we have model and infinite source but modeling an infinite source which needs like I means what to say to be modeled with like swing bus it's important and like I means to say when it comes to the branch you can model it in or in per unit x in per unit in b in per unit or you can model it in ohms like the software probably gives you an option like means in like two ways like whether this transmission line input can be given support of ohms or per units so when it is in ohms still it is ohms not ohms per kilometer like unlike other simulation softwares like eta that this line parameter is in ohms per kilometer it is in ohms per kilometer where the length plays a pretty pretty important role but like pssc this length is just only an information whereas either in ohms or in per unit it is for the entire length so you need to probably look at this parameters and you have to enter this parameters carefully and length still i recommend you to give when you are modeling but probably gives some understanding so take something if you want to do a simulation with a, a kind of a faraday effect here you have to give the uh, actual charging capacitance in microfarad not a micro siemens like other simulation software like eta eta like means so you will tend to give this value as like approximately about 3.6 or something that is 3.6 micro siemens but like here like means so say what you have to give in pssc is uh, it's microfarad so like means so say 3.6 divided by 2 into pi into f 0.001146 right that's uh, per kilometer of course like this is for the entire length for 300 kilometers if we have assumed 3.439 and like length is like 300 kilometers so it's giving a warning but it means like it is converting into a branch with some impedance and like you can perform low flow so this is 1.6 megawatt 178.8 mbr this is exactly the same results which you will get when you probably model in it as well but like that's what this needs like let's modeling it's 400 kv putting 300 km length and like keeping it use a defined 0.1.1.4 if i am running low flow i need to check like whether other system okay. so like this is exactly this exactly 1.6 minus 178.8 is matching with this so this is probably like how do you have to model it in pssc similar fashion like i mean so say when it comes to this uh, transformer so example let's take a transformer transformer model like you can look at r per unit x per unit but this per unit you can give based on system mba which is we have assumed as 100 mba or the winding mba or you can represent as a load loss which is in watt and is it per unit similarly like here you can give like the winding voltage as a part of per unit or a kv that 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 pretty much like means to say you can you can give and like you can model the on load tap changes you can control the like voltage or war flow also right and like you can select like which node the voltage has to be regulated as so that's that's probably a uh, to an extent like uh, how how you have to model this how you have to model this uh, i mean to say bus like it's all the first three are buses and this is a branch that is either cable or a transmission line it is the same thing breaker switch it is of no use and probably like i mean to say 
just to give an idea if i'm deleting it and probably if i'm running the load flow if i want to see how much percentage this uh, probably the branch is loaded i can use it and it is saying it's not applicable that's because like i have not really given what is the uh, like i mean so say capability of this uh, uh, transmission line so you have like a rating one say if i'm given like say example 500 m VA, then probably if I am running the slow flow, so I guess like some options is, I guess like I need to check whether I have given it straight. Branch data, 500 MBA, yes it is rating to like means per se. This is like against each rating like means so you can probably like how much, how much percentage loading, like I guess like in a display option I might have probably picked up this rating, how much percentage it is loaded against something else. So that's pretty much can be captured here itself so so how much percentage like means 178 mba is about 26 percentage of 500 mba loading which i have given and probably like if i am connecting a load of say example like let's put 300 megawatt let's see the loading and how this power flow happens yeah now it is 66 percentage loaded and like the voltage drops down to like 0.97 which is 389.8 kv so all this information which you can get it. So this is like a very, very preliminary introduction of, uh, uh, I mean, for say PSSC. And like, I will not really recommend you to start with PSSC if you're a beginner to power system studies. If you're a beginner to power system studies, I will recommend you to start with ETAP or maybe software like EC power, right? PSSC, like once you're really good at ETAP, then probably like you can think of a PSSC. And probably when you're going for a PSSC, like then it needs some skills, some basic knowledge as well. So it's not really for the beginners. 